Inerotech, presented by its co-founder and managing director, Tim Boltkin. Imagine a world without hydrocarbons. Many of you maybe now think about empty highways, but truth to be told, hydrocarbons are not only needed for transportation fuels, they are in our everyday products, in our clothes, in our electronics, we need it for the paints, for the wall, and we even need it for the production of food. Without hydrocarbons, most of us would probably now be naked, hungry, or freezing cold. This is the situation. Hydrocarbons are needed for our everyday life, but they are made from oil and gas. And even if there's a future in electromobility, the energy consumption in the future will still be covered by oil and gas. Now consider every person on this planet driving a car 24-7, 365 days per year. This is, the cons uh, this is the emission of CO2 we are currently causing with the known effects for our environment. I don't have to tell you about that. Inerotech will recycle these greenhouse gases. We will decrease the dependency on oil and we will put waste into value. Our product is a very compact chemical plant for the generation of renewable hydrocarbons. Renewable means we will use gases such as methane gases coming from biogas plants or from sewage gas plants, or we use the greenhouse gas directly together with renewable hydrogen. The container looks a little bit strange on this presentation. Usually it's a, a better picture. Um, but within, this, uh, within a two-step innovative chemical process, we will convert the gases in renewable hydrocarbons that can be either liquid or they can be solid for the chemical industry or for fuel production for an, uh, for an existing infrastructure. Please don't ask me, these uh, hydrocarbons are 100% renewable, but don't ask me how I managed it to get it here in the, in the embassy. <laughs> The, the processes are called power to X or gas to X. We call it greenhouse gas recycling. And the most important fact is that we do not need a, that we don't, do not need a large centralized plant. We manage all of this in just one container. We have developed a patented compact chemical conversion technology that enables the decentralization of these processes. With our microstructure technology, we have made the reactors 80 times more compact. On the left side, you see a conventional chemical reactor, and on the right side, you see our microstructured reactor. Within a box of this size, we manage it to facilitate three soccer fields of surface area that enhances the chemical reaction. We have the highest conversion, we are simplifying the process, and last but not least, we are load flexible. Very important for decentralized application. I can carry the reactors around with me. This is a small pilot reactor, but the reactors are scalable and they are modular. Our falling wall is the worldwide first industrial power to X plant that will be built within an industrial consortium. We will use renewable electricity, generate hydrogen by electrolysis, and then the hydrogen and the CO2 will be converted in our container, now it's also shown a little bit better, in fuels and chemical materials. We will recycle 1,000 tons of CO2 per year and per plant within these materials. We will generate 500,000 liters per year, and the uh, efficiency is 95% as the released heat will be used for district heating. We will not build just one plant, we will build 1,000 plants for a multi-billion euro market potential. We can generate renewable fuels, synthetic fuels for an existing infrastructure. We can store chemical, uh, we can store electricity, renewable electricity in hydrocarbons with the highest energy density you can think of. The same holds for gases. 
we can recycle CO2, we can decrease the dependency on oil, and we can shift the chemical industry into renewables. We have nine pilot plans, my time is up, but the selected customers show that the interest in this technology is very strong, and I'm looking to hear for your question on our hydrocarbons not made from fossils, but from renewables and from greenhouse gas recycling. Thank you very much.